Thursday night baseball headed your way from guaranteed rate field in Chicago. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Oakland A's and the Chicago White Sox. Chicago attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Here comes the first pitch and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah Maddie Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt I'm OK with Dero. You know one of the things I guess with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters but one thing I will say he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Bounced softly in front of the plate, and the run will score as the A's get off to a 1-0 lead. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field number twenty five for him on the year as the A's have opened it up even further it's now four to nothing. He's set and the pitch tried to check it in its own one Davis sometimes called crush with a K and an H he was selected in the seventh round back in the two thousand nine MLB draft man coming out of the late rounds you have to grind for everything nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. Sullivan is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend the lead to five zip. A ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's a 6 1 game. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one on to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Fowler's under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he is safe at the plate, taking a chance down a bunch, but it's a 7 2 okay. contest now. Right fielder. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Lowry will take the turn and head for second. Lowry around second, headed for third. The relay. But he is in there with a triple. Yeah, everyone knows this guy's been having a great year at the plate, but he's not exactly a gazelle on the bases. But he turns on the Jets here and makes it all the way to third. He might need an oxygen tank, but hey, he made it. Into the box now, Josh Fegley. As he grounds one briskly to short, Anderson picks it up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. In now, Josh Fegley. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, D. Roll, that looked like a pretty easy inning to start. All of a sudden, two outs and back to back singles, runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on them. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there, and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases, or are you just trying to execute that next bit? You know what happens a lot of times, D. Roll? You lose concentration. You get the first two out in the inning. You think, hey, I'm going to breeze through this and get this third guy out. Next thing you know, first and third. Hit high and deep to left field. Delmonico looks up. Gone! Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Back goes Garcia. Out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. Standing in now, Marcus Semyon. 
Marcus. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. Oh man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Bases are empty here with two men out. The White Sox down to their last strike. And he misses there, one and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, a nice win for them all around, and an even better way to start things off on the first day of summer when every team looks ready to get on a roll. 13 to 2 is the rather one sided final tally. The Oakland A's jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kendall Graveman hangs win number 11 on his line. Carlos Radon allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.